Thank you, Father. I am praying. We give you glory. You worship your holy name. Come and take control of everything in Jesus' mighty name. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 We go to the book of the gospel according to Mark chapter 10, uh, verse 1. But I would like us to talk about something different today. Uh, so that we talk about the Mark chapter 10, verse 1, some other day or from tomorrow forward. Amen. So let us open yeah. our Bible to uh, James, the book of James, chapter, chapter 4, verse 7. The book of James, chapter 4, verse 7. And I would like the reader to read from the verse 1 downwards, the verse 1 downwards. Verse one that was the topic for the day is resisting the enemy, resisting the enemy. For you to become successful in this year, you should be able to resist the enemy. You must do everything possible to resist the enemy. You have to resist the enemy why because the enemy is against you but god has given you the power to resist the enemy so you must resist him so it is either you resist the enemy or the enemy resists you hallelujah amen and then so you see a bonnet for her, a bonnet for no a coin away. Now you're back in kind, radia self away, a cook with woman, no, a sea and nine, a free barco, a cozy and so no. Now maybe I had bro, a war, a real simono, a war, say a timmy sea or bonnet for no coin. Say, we'll be timmy, a call when nim, a war, a rabboni moa, now as a say we see a bonnet for no a coin. But the way I see no coin or no obesi will coin. Amen. Amen. So let's read the Bible. Let's read the Bible. I can try and read the rest them. Um, I'll, I'll read the English first and then I'll read the few. One second. Ah. Um, okay. I read uh, James chapter 4. Verse 1 to 7. I read in Jesus' name. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come, come they not hence, even of your lust that war in your members? Ye lust and have not. Ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war. Yes, ye have not. Because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it upon your last. Ye adulteress and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do you think that the scripture said in vain the spirit that dwelleth in us lasteth to envy, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore he said, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Amen. 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 Badias 
Some of us shred no more and need you dear me. Our say for Moon, you must say, if you say a go far, any or Tanya or Tanya or young couple. Ain't she or Biara or Petter or ye be as a damn for or ye be as a damn for no Jenna Hosset, young couple town for. And now say, Moose was so at Chirano at a sacqua, say, or chain the whole homework or tea and moon no home in Kunu. Nan so or ma a dom be brave mum. Ain't she not at Chirano say? O nyanko pausi a hand tie for quite. Na odum a ho bras ye for. Ensi mon fa moho en sha nyanko pwasi. Munsi obo sub quite. Na obe janu ef munche. Amen. 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 Therefore submit yourself unto the Lord. Resist the enemy and he will flee from you. Hmm. Our main quote for the day is the verse seven. Is the verse seven? But I would like to talk about the preceding verses also. Now, looking at the preceding verses, it is clearly shown that man is having a desire, a desire to receive the things. It's like man is lacking so many things, so there is a burning desire in man to have access of all those things, but still man is not having them. So man is doing everything at his own possible best to get all those things. In so doing, man become a friend to the world and an enemy to God. Why? Because man will have to do everything possible, whether good or bad, to have an access to all his desires and neglect the standard or the status of the word of God. By so doing, man has become an enemy to God and become a friend to the world. And being a friend to the world is an enmity to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> A near my and my a bay say, no a bonnet. Ain't no Say a dear and my for a town Now, say a person in your cup a so they are in Amen. Ah, there are so many things that man, man does for money. We do for money. There are so many things that we do for money. There are many evil things that we do for money. And never be brave or no more. And if I, yes, I did pick Because of the things that we are lacking in this world, man has been engaging himself in so many acts. That is leading man astray from the standard of the word of God. So, so many people are going to church, but they are not reflecting the glory of God. They are not able to live according to what the word says. Why? Because they are having a different desire in the in the world that is leading them astray. And then see who said, "Nipa bebre or ko asore die." Then so wana bra bono and then asore ko ana se nyamia samu ebo ebra. Isa ne se. The woman who shall wear a corner away, Muno, 
eni eni nyame asem no e bo ebra kora eti no e ma yin tini en nyame e wade e hwehwe se yebe so many people go to church but those who go to church at the same time are having a desire for the things of this world so ampa e ji e hu ne se be bre ya kwa sorry there na so ya na kono no e ye 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 e ni ama e na ye hwehwe e kira kwa e nya me die kwa so it's like being a dual citizen being a dual citizen you would want to you like this one but because of this let me let me do this let me do this more let me do this more let me do this more then it becomes your habit so it's like you are here and you are here at the same time man has become confused and it's you when it's a little brabona yeah bono yeah yeah i i i did too much you yeah boha kakra ne ya boha kakra ya bo nya me dia kakra ne ya ya ko bo ya se so dia kakra yin tini enyi na fa ko esa ne se ye pe nya me dia bi ni ye pe wi ase so dia bi en si ama beni be nya ni ye twa ye ho ye hu ye ho no man has forgotten that no one can serve two masters no one can serve two masters you masters so the bible will say you love one more than the other you love one more than the other so we must have a lover and that lover must be one it shouldn't be two amen yana nipa ye we free ye ho se e radi aka wona se mu se ye ntimi enso me wura no mienu wo beto ba ko asene ba ko o beto ba ko asene ba ko enu ti e wo te ye ntimi e yi ba ko se ye beto nyankopo ana ye beto bi ase so this year you must have a desire First Peter chapter two verse two says, "As newborn babies, desire the sincere milk of the word, so that you grow. You don't have to. The things of this world are very good; they are important. We cannot do away with. But we shouldn't desire it to the extent that we will do evil and become an enemy to the word of God." Sabi atwa ne kan ye no ewo se ye hwehwe nyankopon asem a eye nufusu no eye ewo se ye tini e ma ye kondo o nyankopon de ni ewi ase nyama no eye se ebi enye kwa ye hia ebi e di abobra na nsu no eni se ye tini e di e kira e ma ye bra bo no eni nyankopon asem no ebo ebra So my question is are you a friend to the red or you are a friend to the world Then you may not be able to say, "Won't it be a blessing and a year Adam for?" And now, won't it be a blessing and a year Adam for? All right, let's come to the verse seven. The verse seven says, "Um, so then submit to God. Say, submit to God. Submit to God. Oh, submit to God. Submit to God. Submit to God." One, when we talk about submission, we are talking about to give way, to give way for something, to to allow yourself to to surrender. So there is a song that goes like, "Oh to Jesus, I surrender. Oh to Thee, I freely give. I abandon worldly treasures." the account in the minimum but me kai i surrender i surrender all to thee no precious savior i surrender oh hallelujah so we shouldn't submit some of the things we must submit everything we must submit everything Amen. Ya sha eti en solo bo Yakubu e e mu solo wa Yakubu ti na ho lo. O se eti mu fa mo ho nse Yakubu wa se. Na e ka ahobras ye e ma Yakubu se ye ma ye ho kwan na Yakubu 
asem no edi ye so ana ye bi ye ho ehye nyankopon to me na ase na na asem no ase enti ye ye to nyu bi se e jai ni nyina mu se wo do ho ehye bibi ase a e wo se bibi a e wo mu adi wo di wa di ni na ehye adefo na se enye ebi wo nfa bi nsha ase na wo nje bi e wo se wo di ni nyina e mu no nyina sha ase the sign of submission there are so many signs of submission but the common one is raising uh, both of your hands or one of the hands and i uh, 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 when you are coming to receive uh, jesus as your personal lord and your savior you you raise one of your hand and you put one on your on your heart on your heart meaning you are surrounding everything not some part of the things not an aspect of your life not not when things are becoming unbecoming that is when you submit to god no you are submitting everything unto god and you see from today forward i take you as my personal lord lord means dependable personal lord and savior then you see a lot of things you see a lot of things that is submission meaning you have you have understood that you cannot do things on your own so you want to give way to god you, you want to leave everything unto god you want god to take the lead so that you will follow at first we were leading but now we have understood that man is limited in in so many ways so we want god to take the lead so that we will follow him that is our mission Amen. Eh ka eh hope I saw do ho she bibia sia na ye pray ho ase ase bibia sia. Ya na ye wo ni me bia na ase bibia ase so die die e ma ye tini ehu se ye ye bi ye ho e she bibia se e bi ni se ye ma ye so so se o bi bo ye ni e be ji e wa ji e ji na ofa Christo se na ji nkwa. Who said, Oh, money, Sasso, then is that road, the Saturn of Homaso? And who knows how me and Munina so extra said, Oh, Jam, Munina, not I can't. Wuna, we are the open, then so I say, Oh, Jay, a babonina, I'm a crystal. So I will know, and I won't make you him, or I won't make you kind and what I didn't name. And see, a year I hope brass here, and I say, A year I dare extra said, Would they will hurt me now? So when when you want to submit to God, it, it is very important because it is a restoration of the glory of God upon your life. Why? Because man lost the glory of God when man sinned. So when you submit to God, when you submit to God, you just want to restore the glory that you have lost. And be united to one, uh, uh, to God again. And when you become united to one, then you begin to experience the glory of God. Amen. And in the say, she say, yadi yahu eshe unyango pa asia. Na eshe se eni mo nyamu a e bo yai e bra boni. Nipa ye boneno, if a body fit ya se nipa ye boneno. Se ye ma yan sa so na ye di yan hobe she nyan ko pon wa siya. Sa a eni me nyamu no, e wadi e nam ne humo boso e sane e de ma ye. Amen. So some people want to experience the glory of this world. Meanwhile, there is a greater glory in God. We must submit ourselves. We must give way. The Bible makes me to understand that a time came that Abraham was there. Then he heard a call from, from heaven that Abraham, Abraham, uh, go to the land that I will show you. I won't even tell you where you are going, but you just go. You see, in literal sense, it does not make sense oh. that you want me to embark on a journey that I don't know where I'm going. Mm. But Abraham submitted himself. Okay. He said, I will do as you have said. Though I don't know where I am going. I have no idea where you are taking me. 
but because you have spoken, because it came from the Almighty, because it came from the Adonai, because it came from the Elohim, because it came from the creator of the universe, I must submit, I must follow, I must follow. So Abraham left everything, he left everything and embarked on the journey. And embarked on the on, on, on the journey. Abraham submitted everything, though it wasn't sensible to embark on a journey that you don't know where you are going. But Abraham said, "Because you have spoken, because you have spoken, I am ready to follow. I am ready to follow." These days, many people are not ready to submit. Many people are not ready to submit. Even when they know where they are going, where the road is leading to, they are not ready to submit. Abraham didn't know where he was going, but he said, because you have spoken, I will follow. Beloved, we need to submit. Before you can experience the glory of God in this world of darkness, that the enemy is working tirelessly and devouring so many people, with an agenda of killing, destroying, we must submit. We must submit. We must submit. We don't have to become friends of this world. We are not the first people to be friends of this world. There are so many people who have become friends of this world. And, and, and we know the end of their lives. We should take that as acquaintances and submit our ways unto the Lord. Submit our ways unto the Lord. Submit uh. our ways unto the Lord. Uh. Because there is greater blessings and greater glory in doing so. Hallelujah. Uh. Amen. God bless you. Trona my Shaswa, Efra, Papa, Abram, Ebra, or Yakupo, Efren, or say. Oh, free, let your fear be a one or not on for one channel, a radiant channel, be a one for. Nan so is an estena, Abraham, a friend of her, Sema, and near what he needs. When you and young couple, Miss Susan, they will sit here now. What friend of her say, a man, maybe a need to be a man needs. Excuse me. Or the any dear Emma, a near what he needs, you know. In the Munia, Avian, a radi, a shen, when you never ever would have grabbed more. And in two years, so a bream remo, or one if one a yen yama be bree, a word, the pabra boom, Nancy say, Am I a whole point? Nay, a bray of one sick, a shen yan coupon was here. Say, I be a humina, ever shen yan coupon was here. Oh, and can be bray, I won't follow one shen yan coupon, so when a year, ya, and me, you know, and so yes, we can ever parry. God wanted to bless Abraham. God wanted to bless Abraham, change his name, make him uh, experience his glory. But Abraham was at a place that he cannot bless him over there. Beloved, I don't know the place where you find yourself. But when you compare the standard of the things that you are doing and the standard of the word of God, you know that you are at the right place or you are at the wrong place. Mm. So if you are at the wrong place, God cannot bless you at that place. You have to move from that place and come to a place that God can bless you, that you can experience the glory of the Lord. Beloved, God wants to bless you in this year, 2022. God wow. wants you to experience so many things in this year, but you need to submit yourself. What must you do? You must move from the being friendship of this world because when you do that you become an enemy to God you become an enemy to your blessings you become an enemy to your glory you become an enemy to all the good things that God has for you so move from that place and come to a place that God can bless you amen amen papa Abraham not one Na ever the person was Jimmy Free, or now was Shrano, now was Shrano, 
and you see six year when you are and you need to ampa in shrano so so me sa e kaye ya so so e biya na e ti biya biya ye wu ba biya ye wo se ye she na e ni e rade a se mono e bo e bra odo fu e rade won ti ni shrabo ni e mani ni ye na e se se ye chin ye ho na ye ti e be bata e rade e sa ne se se ye di ho bo wu ya si ya na ye ni ya ko pa a ye a tam fo na o ti ni ya o tam fo ho so ni shra e mani ni ye and in tea, he has said, Yet to me, and ye are who a free, we are so, and ye are say, and ye are down for me, and a red yenina who pom a bit to me, a year back for a nebea a down for, said the bayer, and shred ya a red day, and what the mayeno, said a fee, and a brother, ye know, ya brother moon, and I shred ya, and what the mayen, and Sabeka, amen. I am sure Abraham will be saying. If this man has spoken, who am I? <laughs> who am I to say I won't go? Oh, everybody say, who am I? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> if God has spoken, who am I to be asking questions? No, no, yeah. I don't have to ask because this man, his ways are perfect. At least I have heard about him. And then when he give you direction, his directions never lead you to bad things. So I don't have to ask where I'm going. No, no, no. Who am I to ask? Who am I to ask? Ask your neighbor, who are you to ask? 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 I need to move. If God has spoken and is giving me direction, who am I to ask for questions? So Abraham said, I will go. Because this man, his ways are always perfect. I have read a lot about him and anyone who submitted to him, he led the person to a very a place of comfort. Oh, yeah. A place of comfort. Oh. When you read the preceding verses, it says you eat, but you, you don't become satisfied. <laughs> you eat, but you don't become satisfied. So what is the essence of the eating? We eat to become satisfied. So if you eat and you don't become satisfied, it means that is not what you need. Yeah. This has told the woman that you are always hungry. You are always moving up and down in search for water. But I have something that when I give you, oh, yeah. that when I give you, you become satisfied. Mine is permanent, but yours is temporary. Mine is eternal. Yours is just for a few minutes. Beloved, if God is giving us direction, who are we? Who are we? Flesh and blood. To be asking questions. To be asking questions. No, we need to leave everything. To leave the home of sinning. To leave the home of fornicating. To leave the home of doing the wrong things and come to Jesus. Raise our hands yeah. up and say, Oh, to Jesus, wow. I surrender. Oh, to thee, I freely give. And surrender everything unto him. In so doing, you are registering your name in the book of comfort. You are okay. registering your name in the book of glory. You are registering your name in the book of blessings. You are not doing yourself any harm. In fact, there is zero harm in him. May we have the strength to submit unto him in Jesus' name. May we have the strength to submit unto him in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Abraham. Now, who said, when you're cooked for your no coffee? Not more beckoning, I and no pray. Were you young for two for? Now, a radi after a war. Or no, Abraham, one no hang. There will be yano. Now, a fatter set of bread and rusty, and my and near or see yano. Now, ye nipa, ye moja, so lam ni moja, ye yo hang. Say, a radi after a war. So we are free, free, bonny mo. So we are free, free, baby, I will wa. I don't know what to do, y'all. 
Yankopon and the pa and more at the money. Bonnie be a mini mo. Now say ye see ye see tea am a ride. Na ya ye or frere a ride a spray and no as she na ya banning chaya. Oh, can obey Professor Jedo. Obey shrying. And pa and you say it's na ya bonnie mo. And was said yet me be a whole yet me a bray of her say a mamma the near dear whole shed on Yankopon. I say it's an essay. Amen. Amen. Beloved, Jesus is knocking at the door. He is knocking. He is knocking. He's been knocking for so long. Open the gate for him. Open yes. the gate for him and register yes. your name in the book of glory. Open Amen. the gate for him. Don't waste time. Open the gate for him and he will lead you to a better place. Abraham, Abraham name was changed to Abraham. God said, I will change your name. I don't know the name that you are having, the name that you are having. You see, some people, they, are, they, they have very good names, but that is not the name people are giving unto them. Mm-hmm. Or some names are being attached to their names. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Someone was called Bartimius, Bartimius, but because he is blind, mm-hmm. His name has changed to blind Bartimius. May the things that we are experience in life, that the, the, the people and the enemy has given that name to us, may them change in the name of Jesus. Amen. May them Amen. change in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, people will attach you because of the circumstances that you are passing through. They will say, uh, the barren woman. May the good Lord change our names in the name of Jesus. Amen. The poor man or the poor woman. May the good Lord change our names in the name of Jesus. May our names be changed in the name of Jesus. May our names be changed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak in the name of God Elohim that any name that the enemy has given unto us be changed now in the name of Jesus. 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 Submit unto the Lord. Be submitted. Be su- submit yourself. Submit yourself, beloved. Let us submit ourselves. The way that we are living our life will lead us to a very disastrous place. Mm. It will lead us to our grave. It will lead us to a place of discomfort. We must live the way of God. It is only when we believe the way of God that we will have peace. That we will have peace. His name is the Prince of Peace. There is peace in his kingdom. Apart from his kingdom, there is nothing like peace in this world. You see, we, we, we don't like the way the world is turning. And we are always having a burning desire to do things. Mm-hmm. We are making planes and shapes. We are climbing mountains. Mm-hmm. Scientists are doing what they can do. But there is no peace in this world. But there is mm-hmm. peace in him. Amen. There is peace in him. Mm-hmm. He is the prince of peace. How can we have peace when we are not in his kingdom? Beloved, mm-hmm. let us embrace his calling let us embrace his calling let let us deem his calling as the most important thing it should be our priority it should be the first thing that we need on this earth so that we will be under his shelter psalm 91 verse 1 those who dwell under the shadow under the shelter of the most high god there is a shelter that is calling us to come and dwell. Because though there are many shelters, but it cannot shelter us. It cannot protect us. There is only one shelter that we need to submit ourselves and hide ourselves under. And hide ourselves under. When we submit ourselves, the winds will blow. There will be greater storms. 
<laughs> but our foundations will still be strong. Why? Because we, we, we have built a house on a mountain, on a mountain, a mountain of peace and a mountain of glory. Hallelujah. Beloved, wherever you find yourself, move from that place. Tell your neighbor, move from that place. Move from that place and come and, and, and come closer to God. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer and experience the glory. Come closer and experience the glory. Come closer and experience the glory. Amen. Amen. Audio <laughs> Ewo <laughs> Asumje <laughs> Christo mu nye beti nye nye asumujiye. Eni si bra, yesu chen. Na enye ma enye ye ema. Amen. 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 So the first one was being submissive. The, the, the second one is resist the devil. Resist the devil. Resist the devil or the enemy. To resist means to oppose or not being in line or not agreeing with the devil, with the enemy. Beloved, we must oppose our opposers. Hallelujah. We must oppose our opposers. The Bible didn't say, I will resist the enemy for you. But it says, resist the enemy or resist the devil, meaning there is something in us there is something in us. Oh, see, there is something in me. There is something in me. There is something in me. Greater is he that is in me oh. than he that is in the world. There is something yes. in us. And that thing in us has overcome the world. So we have dominion. We have dominion. We have the power to control. Resist the enemy, beloved. Resist the enemy. Don't agree with the enemy. Don't agree with the enemy in every aspect of your life. Don't give way to the enemy in every aspect of your life. Oppose the enemy enemy resist the devil if you refuse to resist your opposer your opposer will oppose you so you need to wake up and oppose your opposers before they opposes you resist the devil resist the enemy don't agree with them. Don't agree with their plans. Don't agree with their with their actions. Don't agree with the with the way with the direction that they want to take you. Don't agree when they are taking you on a road of sickness, on a road of poverty, on the road of sin. Beloved, arise and shine. 
shine and overcome all the darkness of the enemy in your life. Mm. Don't allow mm. the enemy to bring darkness in your kingdom, in your territory. Don't allow them. When they begin to bring darkness, you begin to experience bad things in your life. Mm-hmm. Arise, shine, mm. and overcome all the darknesses that the enemy is ready to bring into your kingdom, to bring into your territory. Beloved, stand up and oppose the enemy. You must do everything humanly possible to oppose the enemy. You have everything to oppose the enemy. Don't belittle yourself and know who you are in Christ, that you are a child of God. You are possessing a DNA of your master. God created us like himself. And because of that, you have the power to overcome him. Don't let what is happening and the circumstances in which you find yourself, how others are passing through certain situations Mm. and belittle yourself. Know who you are and know the power that you are possessing and oppose the enemy don't agree with the enemy when he's bringing he's giving you bad ideas to become friends of this word Mm. don't agree with him when he's whispering into your ears and and so that you be in line with the things of this word don't agree with him when the enemy has wrapped so many things like like gold the thing is very bad, but he has wrapped it like a gold and is presenting to you. Don't agree with it. Uh, Beloved, I don't know what the enemy is presenting unto you. That it seems so good. It, it looks pleasing to your eyes. Are you aware that what you want to eat is an evil fruit? <laughs> <laughs> Though it is pleasing to your eyes, but it is an evil fruit. Mm. And it will lead you, it will take you from paradise. Mm-hmm. It is going to take you from paradise. The thing that is looking pleasing to your eyes, that you you have a desire for it. You want to, you want to have a taste of it. <laughs> it will take you from paradise. Mm-hmm. you will no longer be able to play with lions. The fruit will not come by itself. You will not have rivers to water your gardens. You have to fetch water to, 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 to water your gardens. When tigers see you, they will devour you. Why? Because you want to move from a place of comfort and come to a place of discomfort. You want to move yourself from from a place of glory and come to, you want to become an enemy of God, an enemy of the creator of, of the universe. You don't have to hear the voice of God and be running away because of the things, the desire that you are having now. You need to be in the presence of God all the time. Mm. Beloved, oppose the enemy before he takes you away from paradise and bring you to a place like Africa. Amen. (laughs) (laughs) But Africa is a blessed place. Just like, just that the people are corrupt. Hallelujah. <laughs> I, I have said it. I have said it. <laughs> uh, amen. Amen. Uh, amen. Trans- okay, let me translate. Um, yeah, they can share. So, yeah, 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 Yes, see, of a new funnel choir. That's just of a new funnel, or she should be real, you'll be real, you'll be. Now, trying to say, dear, a 
It was pleasing to the eyes. It was pleasing to the eyes. And now this is what we are having. The pleasing to the eyes with all the pleasing to the eyes. This is what we are having now. This is how the world is moving. Fighting unnecessarily. Fighting wars everywhere. Wars everywhere. May the good Lord have mercy on us in Jesus' name. Mm. Now, when we say resisting the enemy, the devil will not come and say, I am the devil. I am coming to destroy you. Where are you, Saint Aquia? I am the devil. I am coming to destroy you. <laughs> I am the devil. I'm here to destroy you. No. The enemy will not come in that form. Oh. Now, what is devil? When we say devil, anything that opposes you, anything that opposes you, anything that is not in line with your desires. Hallelujah. So wow. you, you, it is clearly seen that those, thing, those things are in our environment. They are, they are living with us. The enemy works through things. When the oh. enemy see that you like watching television, he will increase your desire in the television to the extent that you will not be able to, to pray. And when you refuse to pray, you become a prey. Mm -hmm. You refuse to pray. You become a prey. So the, the enemy or the devil that we are talking about is closer. It's, it's our environment. It's the things around us. The enemy can operate through the things around us. Oh, we don't believe that. I do. It's true. Okay. Oh. The other time, Jesus, the small boy, looked at Peter, his face, and said, Satan, hey, you are calling me Satan. Oh. I have been working with you, but today you, you are calling me Satan. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you, you knew you are working with Satan, right? You honored me a few days ago. You said the answer that I have given you was a revelation of the Holy Spirit. But today you are calling me Satan. <laughs> so, so, so you know that Satan is very close. Satan is very close. Satan is in our environment. Some people, they can eat and eat and eat to the extent that even if their alarm blew, they will not hear it. They are, it is in our environment, apart from the enemy having their meetings and they work through mediums. They work through mediums. Now, God created man to control, but not to be controlled. That is why the things that you have bought with your own money, 
you should be able to control them. Yes. It's like you, we are having a remote. You choose when to switch on your computer. But to some people, even if they, are, they, they cannot even move their eyes from the television, even when they are eating, they are, they are oh. always on the television. And it is taking all their time. It is taking all their time. Beloved, what is opposing you? What is not in line with the word of God? What is not helping you in your Christian life? What is preventing you? So you need to sit down, do life on it, and do analysis. You know those things. That the enemy is working through certain mediums. It's working through certain mediums. So don't be thinking the enemy will be coming and be saying, I'm the devil, I'm here to destroy you. No, the enemy will come through mediums. Jesus realized that the enemy wants to assess him through someone who is closer to him. That is Peter. So he looked straight to Peter's eyes and rebuked and resisted and resisted Peter. Beloved, you have to do the same. You have to do when it is coming to you. You see, Paul understood Christ to the extent that he said, even if angels come to say anything, he will not believe it. He said, what will, what will prevent me or what will take me away from Christ? When he was mentioning, he mentioned angels. And we, we are aware that angels are very intelligent. But Paul has understood Christ to the extent that he will be able to identify that these are fallen angels coming to destroy me. Mm. These are fallen angels coming to devour me. Beloved, mm. we need to open our eyes. We need to become mm. vigilant and be observant about the things around us because it is through those things that the enemy will be working through to destroy us. It is through those things. Even if it is very close to us like Peter, we need to rebuke it. Amen. Even if it is closer to us like Peter, as Jesus did. Jesus didn't say you, you have been able to be given so many good answers and all that. You are old enough and you are this, you are this. Jesus didn't do that. He only saw that the enemy wants to work through this man. I have to stop him. I have to oppose him. I have to resist him. Because if I refuse to resist him, the enemy will work through him and resist me. He does not understand my purpose on this earth. That is why he's doing this. Mm -hmm. Do to him, he wants to help. But that is not my intention. Beloved, even if the person wants to help but does not know your intentions, where you want to go, resist the person. Resist the person. But you must know how to resist the person. If he's working through your husband, don't go and stand and say, Satan, I rebuke you. <laughs> you must know how to resist the enemy in all areas. <laughs> you God bless us. Amen. 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 Nanyamano <laughs> 
and me a radiasum a boebra, and I say, and me a diana is subi, a see a quam against me and nancy a radia quamua. Now I will say, who say, or one of follow, while boy rabbit be a yen in you must say, they are all best she and I say, and in tea, I will say, who sign your money in a near to me, see no quay, and was sir at the end, who says, ye and Nahua, ye bear cacata crana, I say, or one of follow, as she and I say, cry. Say a fair yes to Christ to run in a swear for no air, Catano watch your warm dear. A dunning there was a tea, there was a ton on them. Now, who said Satan was a petrol and a can and a can Satan and the missus and not Satan a boy rap petrol. A person would sit there a radi a bayano a hook pine. And in tea, then a radi is to Christ to what can and him. Sounds so and I answer say ye ye. So one if one of a baby a by a bra boomer. I will say it's me a cannon in my sino quaint. It's an a say, and yen is not yama or bonnet for no enya a quaint away and more abbess at the say and yama. Ain't he a was here as she yea and the house? Amen. Amen. We will bring our teaching to an end close today and continue uh, God willing tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to pray for about Amen. five minutes. With all the things.